This is a way to know that an attraction is from God. Our God does good and He expects us to do the same. He is into doing good and whatever He does is good. As one of His, you would also be motivated to do good when the person you are attracted to makes or causes you to do good. But if otherwise, you should know that the attraction is from the enemy. The attraction doesn't make you lust, but to love the person with a clean heart. This is another clear way to know whether an attraction for someone is coming from God or the devil. When it is from God, lust would not be there. Infatuation would not be there. The desire to get over and put the person down for pleasure would not be there. You would want to love the person with your heart. The desire to hurt or do something that would hurt the person would just not be there. Even when it is suggested that you hurt or inflict pain or whatever would make the person sad or cry, you would not take such advice because the attraction is from God and you are so godly. This was the problem with the attraction Ammon had for Tamar. It wasn't a good attraction, it wasn't from God and his hearts were not pure and the devil capitalized on it and wasted his life and destiny. When an attraction is from the right person, your hormones would be able to wait and not push you into sin. It is a bad and devilish attraction and the person that would stimulate or instigate you to want to sin. Joseph's master's wife was attracted to him for the wrong purpose. She wanted to sleep with him and thank God he didn't fall for it. Watch and check the attraction you have for the person. What happens when you meet the person? Is your heart happy to meet the person or your hormonal gland gets excited and wants to sin? You would know and if the hormones want to have their way, you are advised to run away from the person and wait for your heart to be pure. God doesn't want the bed to be defiled before you marry. You would enjoy it all after being married. When the person is single or without a partner like you, there are instances the heart may be playing with you or the enemy is trying to lure you into sin. God would never want you to attract it to someone married or in a serious relationship with someone else. That would be plotting adultery. And from among the commandments of God, one of the things he commanded us not to engage in is sleeping with someone's wife or beloved. This was one of the sins that David committed and he paid dearly for it. You cannot be attracted to someone else's spouse or partner. If you see yourself attracted to someone's spouse or partner, it's not from God and you need to do a scan of your heart and mind and know where the problem is from. It's the devil luring you to sin. Like David, he found himself going as far as making sure the man was killed in battle so that he could take over the man's wife. God is not the author of confusion. He would not get you attracted or connected to the spouse or partner of someone else. You should delete such thoughts from your mind. Stop being attracted to the person. Ensure you don't let the flesh have its way when you are with the person and if possible, avoid meeting the person alone or in secluded places. The attraction is not from God. Run from it. When you are attracted to someone in the light as you are, sometimes your heart may wander away and you see yourself being attracted to someone of the world and we tend to tell ourselves that maybe God wants you to save that person. This is certainly not true because in most cases, Reverse is usually the case. You get drawn away from God and into the world. God knows your strength and he would not give you someone who doesn't have light, no matter how small. We are not of equal yoke. There is no communication or association between light and darkness. This is a matter of who you would settle with. God cannot and would not give you someone capable of luring you into darkness, no matter how beautiful the person is. Even commanded, that we don't take spouse from among the hidden. He knows it would lead to our collapse and take you away from him. When you are attracted to someone who is not in faith, go and pray about it because it's not an attraction from God. Pray and he would convict you on what to it. It might be for the person to be saved and come to light. Be careful not to take light into your bosom because it would burn you. Attraction to someone not to light is not from God and not for relationship. Watch out for it and don't feed it or give it the place to thrive. You would be attracted to someone who is also attracted to you. Attraction from God is a two ways something. He doesn't force something to be. 
When you find yourself attracted to someone who is not attracted to you, it's not from God. God's way is always a two-way something. Love is a two-way something. You love someone and someone loves you in return. This is how to know if the attraction is from God. When the person you have an attraction for is not attracted to you then, know that it is not from God. If it is from Him, the attraction would be reciprocated. Look out for these signs. You would know from the five ways discussed above whether the attraction for someone is from God and would take good steps into making it into something that would last. The ways of God are not our ways, neither are His thoughts our thoughts. God is always speaking, but sometimes we are too busy or unable to pick up the signals in the Spirit. God in His mercies would not want us to get things wrong or make mistakes, especially in matters of knowing who to settle down with in marriage. He would always communicate and keep reaching out until we get it right and clearly. When we become too busy or unable to discern and pick up the signals, he would look out for other means to communicate to us and one of the most important methods is through attraction to the right person. You would suddenly develop attraction and affection for the person he wants you to settle down with and you might see same coming from the person. This is because he has been speaking and you didn't recognize or realize and he has decided to use other means to pass the message across to you. Make no mistake and don't take it lightly or casually. Note that this is only applicable if you have been in the right relationship with God. You are known by Him. You are aligned and connected to Him. He cannot communicate to you by any means if you are not in His books. If your mind and affection are far from Him, He would also be far from you, but would have His arms open to welcome you any time you come back. If you don't have a relationship with Him today, it's not too late to amend and build one today and once that is done, he would quickly reveal to you who to settle with because he knew and formed you in your mother's womb and once you are back, the chronicles of how your life would play out would be reactivated. It takes nothing to be with God. It's the best way and the best way to have your life in short. None who have followed him have been disgraced or rent badly. He is the best keeper and guide for your life. Get connected and align back to him and see your life better again and you would see that you are attracted to the right person. Remember that you attract a person like you. You cannot be far from him and expect to attract someone good or one of his own. You would only attract someone like you. When you are with him, he would ensure to connect and join you with one of his best. Five ways to knowing attraction for someone is coming from God. The attraction and the person tend to excite you in a godly way because it is the right person and you both are connected to a godly source. The person would trigger excitement and joy causing you to do good and better for God. Your system is controlled and regulated by God. Your thoughts are coming from the throne room of God and as such, whenever you see the person and you are excited, you are pushed into doing good things and doing things that please the person and such things are good things because you both are good and what would please the person is good. You would see yourself on the slide of doing what gives him glory. Make no mistakes here. The person cannot be excited seeing you bullying colleagues or showing power to others. The person would be excited seeing you helping the weak and less privileged. The person would be happy seeing you doing good or advancing in something. That is what would get the person excited and pleased also. And you will also be happy that you are pleasing someone you find yourself attracted to and it is also pleasing God.